Well, g'day boys and girls. Out on my second consecutive ride in two days. And uh, the glass is connected to the phone, so it's all good. Nice little garden spot here. So feeling pretty good this morning. Had a decent sleep. Took me a quarter of a bloody sleeping tablet to do so though, at about midnight. But uh, don't feel too bad. How are you, mate? Yes. And um, yeah, I woke up this morning, mate. Legs are feeling good. No aches and pains, so that's good. Had a bit of a stretch. Did a few light exercises, you know, push ups and stretches and whatnot. So uh, yeah, starting to feel good. Haven't had any mushies yet, though. Might head over, head over through to O'Halley's and just. Uh, do the, uh, the easier tracks there. Yeah, it's a kind of balmy morning. A bit of cloud cover is just keeping some of that uh, some of that heat in. So it's not as cold as it was yesterday morning. It's only about 11 or 12 right now. Which is Few more jumps have been put in there. Oh, now they've got the big log one on here as well. All right, someone's coming to fully take over this little trail. Probably the nicest spot through here as far as the bitumen trail goes. Not so muddy, so. Should be right down there, Hallies, actually. I was debating whether or not to get the jam squared out and stick it on the car and go down there. But, yeah, I just can't be arsed putting a block on the car, you know. I'd rather just ride straight out the door, and this is a better bike for that. Got me lights on it and bloody mirror and shit, so it's kind of a little bit more user-friendly as far as, you know, riding on the sides of roads and stuff like that. You can ride a bit of this stuff on uh, on this hard tail down there. Just none of the real rough stuff, really. I don't want to put these uh, entry-level bloody MT400 hubs stuff through that corner of, you know, rocky torture. So I've still got it in tour mode, but I'll just push a little harder today, so I should get a few more Ks out of the first bar before it drops off, I reckon. Well, there will be a little bit more climbing perhaps so yeah we'll see how we go there's still some rubbish around this joint lots of broken glass and little Darrow's retreat over the quarry they started doing some uh, new excavations over there too you could hear them blasting it all a few months back and then everyone got on the bloody Hallett Cove neighborhood chat you know on Facebook and started whinging about it but I mean you know if you're gonna buy near a, near a quarry you're gonna get quarry activities so I wonder if they'll ever do a continuation of the bike path on the Lonsdale Highway here that goes from Majors Road down to sort of Shade Park because um, it kind of ends there so to get between Hallett Cove and there you've got to do stuff like this which I mean I don't mind a bit of single track but be nice just to have a off-road path that's kind of dedicated this has all been redone here's a bit of a layover for all the trucks that uh, you know do their uh, carting works here on the project and um, actually let me just see is there a pedestrian crossing that goes across to link up Bloody Majors Road with this side of Monso Highway. And you know what? There isn't. There's nothing there. There's nothing on that side. You can go that way by the looks or straight ahead. But yeah, there's no uh, there's no pedestrian access. So I'm guessing if I press this button here. Yeah, righto. 
that'll, that'll get me across. But yeah, there's no uh, actual pedestrian access. I guess there's no footpaths here either. But oh, look at that! I'll get a green light, especially just for me. Yeah. So if they did have a bloody path going across the uh, right-hand side there, around to the left, would be um, would be sweet. You sort of cross over Lonsdale Highway back there and just right around the corner, you know. But anyway, maybe they'll do it. Who knows? This isn't finished yet. They're going to be doing like dual four lanes, two lanes each way along here. So hopefully the bike path continues up to Majors Road. Actually, I'm going to go back in there. Just have a look and see what that's like. See a bit of standing water around, so it could be a bit muddy, but... Yeah. Oh no, she's not too bad. Looks relatively dry. Bit of cracking in the clay. Nice. But at least now, we don't have to lift our bikes over any styles to get across here anymore. Which is handy. Yeah, I did see a couple of little puddles around, but nothing too crazy. And these are the kind of trails I like doing on this bike, you know, just nice and flat. Not too much elevation. Just, you know, twisty, windy through all the trees and that, you know. Broadly lovely. Fucking Meggies are out already, mate. Geez, that's the first sweep of the season, and uh, I'm guessing they don't like this jacket. Maggie going to sweep you up there. I wonder if she'll get the sweep. Let's come across here, I reckon. This is looking nice and warm now. Let's look at the trail. Get over, she's narrow and off camber. Oh, hey. Yeah, now the conditions look pretty good, actually. Nice. Yep. I think within the next couple of weeks or so, I'll be venturing down here on the jam, do a few more of the other tracks. Like, I don't even think I'll bother taking this down onto the ground floor, you know. It's just too bloody rough for a hard tail. Yep, got the heart rate up. First time in a while. Whew. 117. This watch is dodgy, eh? A bit more than that. More than that. Yeah, just got rid of the head scarf. It's bloody warming up pretty quick, eh? Still debating on whether to get the dropper or not for this bike. I reckon I will. I've got a spare dropper for the Merida, but it won't fit without a sleeve. So maybe I'll grab a sleeve for it. I might as well, because I won't be using the Merida for the foreseeable future. Be an analog bloody mountain bike. Oh, well, it's good to get the heart rate back in the mid 160s for a change for a, a prolonged period of time. Frogger. A little bit too much speed into that one.
Ah, that's fun. Whew. Looking clear in the city today. Well, it's really odd today, and I'm guessing it's because of the elevation, but I've dropped one bar and I'm sitting on 13 k's. And we're on, yeah, we're on tour. So that's interesting. I, I kind of feel more energetic today, and like I've pushed harder. But, yeah. I guess, yeah, we've done a bit more off-road too, rather than just bike paths, so. But that's interesting. I thought I'd get more k's out of the first bar today. It does look nice down here this time of year though, nice and green. I don't have to worry about snakes, just maggies. That's a crow up there I think, so we should be right, but yeah, got my first sweep already. Bloody hell, bloody August. You know, saying about that battery bar though, yesterday I only noticed it at 21. I only noticed it at 21 k's. Well, it might have dropped before that to be, all, to be honest, but um, sort of when I noticed it, so. Anywho, yeah, so. You see they've come down here with rollers, this coloured paint has kind of faded pretty quick and uh, we've already got some new artwork over the top of it. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the Super Mario one looks like. Aha, Mario Returns. No more fucking Hezbollah fucking bullshit. Nice work boys, nice work. So the bloody meta glasses, I got down to 10% and I've taken 34 bloody videos and um, hadn't been playing any music and I, I got an actual notification on the phone saying that the battery was low as well I'd never seen that before so whether that's part of an update or something but um, yeah the battery's just like fucking tiny man like 0.5 bloody milliwatt hours so uh, yeah maybe one day they'll uh, upgrade them and just make the make the sides a bit thicker or something and stick a bloody more you know robust battery in there you know so I was just having a chat with those uh, two gravel riders and uh, one of them's got uh, a couple of e-bikes as well. We're having a good old chat and I was just uh, explaining about all the awesome paths and gravel stuff you can find around this uh, southern suburbs area. And uh, yeah, we had a good old bloody chat actually. So I reckon the, uh, the glasses should be fairly well charged by now. We'll hit the road again, eh? Yeah, they were saying that they're bloody uh, gravel bikes here, even though they're carbon, they weigh about 14 kilos. That was a bit excessive, but... I guess they have kind of fatter rims and tyres and you know bigger running gear with the uh, large range cassette. Bars and mirrors. Oh, look at that. Can we get over the little rock garden on this bike? Oh, yeah. No worries, mate. No worries. Nicely positioned rocks here at the moment. It's up on Vincenzo's Golf. Nice little climb. See what the bloody kickstand's doing this bike, eh? Hey? Like it never just drops out 
over the rough stuff, you know, it kind of always stays put. So we look here, we've got trip counter 22 k's with one bar, so yeah, I'm guessing that's um, still doing pretty well. Bloody car park's pumping this morning. Yeah. I'm gonna head over to Glenthorne and then Happy Valley and grab a coffee, I think. Back into the resi. Geez, how was the wind by the power last night? I only caught the last like quarter and a half. Man, 112 points I think they beat Sydney by. And Sydney was top of the ladder, so I'm thinking Port's probably top of the ladder. I haven't had a look today, but yeah, bit of a close match, eh? <laughs> well, the bike stayed pretty clean so far, so that's good. And the rain has stayed away, even better. What do you think you're doing, buddy? Hey? Not having any of this. No way. Pour me coffee. We gotta tell your mates to stop sweeping. You stop sweeping, I might give you something. Alright? Go and tell your mates. Well, have myself a lovely buddy cappuccino and a salted caramel brownie slice. Love going to that little caravan cafe there, Signature Coffee Co, a Happy Valley Reservoir. And uh, yeah, I think I might just head home, I reckon. Back up to the top of the resi, over through Glenthorne, and uh, back along the CTV, and that'll do it, I think. Well, the Ford here has got no water over it today. Last time I was here, it was all the way up here. It must have been about a foot and a half bloody deep. I think you go through it, but uh, yeah, she was flowing, that's for sure. Got a few yaks out there. I've got to come down here with me fly reel, fly rod. I'll try and see if I can score a trout or something, you know? Just, I always think about fishing when I'm here, but I never get around to doing it. So there was that little magpie hanging around me, thinking I was going to give it something to eat. And we do at home, we feed them. But you come out on the trails here, mate, and, uh, well, not so much here, but over there at O'Halley's, and they want to swoop you. So I said to him, mate, Tell all your mates to stop swooping. Maybe I'll start feeding you. I can bring some food along, you know, and give them a little bit while I'm here. But, you know, that's the deal, mate. If you don't want to do that, well, bug is. Well, we've got the shitty grey skies, but it has kept the warmth in a bit, and there's no wind, so I really can't complain. The weather hasn't been too bad for it today. Well, it was pretty good today. I wasn't lacking any motivation to get out. I'm like, oh, I feel pretty good, so. I just put the gear on pretty much straight after breakfast and head it out. It's amazing what a good night's sleep does, eh? Looks like we're going through this bloody Meta Ray-Ban connections issues again. Fuck's sake, mate. I just wanted to play some music and it started playing out of the phone instead. It's not going to connect either. Fucking useless technology, man. Seriously. Yeah, so I'm going to have to send them a report through the feedback bloody thing, but you know, meta mate, I mean fuck how many fucking users have they got? Millions. I mean, on the forums, there have uh, been a few complaints about Bluetooth issues, but you know, could be to do with the phone, I mean, who knows mate. Well, boys and girls, that just about does it. Done about 48 k's, two bars left, 16 k's range it's saying, so it's kind of not that much different than yesterday. I haven't done as many k's, but done shit tons more off-road. So I guess that sort of counts for a bit of uh, extra battery usage. Anyway, cheers for watching, see you on the next one.